Select the widget. In the Style panel, you can enter its name, click the eye icon on the right to hide it. The hidden widget appears as a semi-transparent yellow block. Clicking it again will show it. Click the left alignment button to align the button to the left side of the canvas. Click the top alignment button to align the button to the top of the canvas. We can duplicate multiple buttons. Click the horizontal distribution button to distribute the buttons horizontally. Click the vertical distribution button to distribute the buttons vertically. Click the align button to align the buttons. Click the Distribute on Grid button to evenly distribute the buttons on the grid. In the X input box, we can enter the X position of the button or adjust it using the up and down arrows. Similarly, we can adjust the Y position. Click the arrow next to the rotation button to adjust the button's rotation angle. In the W and H input boxes, we can enter the button's width and height. To the right of these input boxes are the rectangle's corner radius settings. By default, all four corners adopt corner radius. We can also click to not apply corner radius to the bottom corners. Clicking the Fit to Text Widths and Fit to Text Height buttons allows the rectangle's width to adapt to the text. Click the Widget Style drop-down list to select different widget styles. These styles are set in the Style Manager, which we will explain in detail in later lessons. Using the Opacity slider, we can adjust the widget's transparency. In the Typography drop-down list, we can select the font for the text with different fonts having various variants. For example, Arial has four variants. We can also change the text size. Using the text color block, we can change the color of the text. By clicking the alignment buttons below it, we can left align, center align, right align, top align, middle align, and bottom align the text. Below that, the Fill Color block allows us to change the button's background color. Further down is the Border Settings, where we can change its width and color. Clicking the More button allows us to change the visibility of the border on all four sides. We can also change the border patterns. The button cannot change its border arrows. Only the Line segment can. We can drag in a line segment and then change the arrows on its two endpoints. I can also add shadows to the button. After checking Enable, we can set its X and Y offsets and blur. Checking Widget Blur will make the button appear blurred, and we can adjust the level of blur. Checking Backdrop Blur will blur the components behind the button. In the Padding input boxes, we can enter padding values for all four directions. By checking both the Fit to Width and Fit to Height buttons, we can ensure that the text maintains a certain amount of padding on all four sides when entering text.